G'day, I'm Ash, hope you're all doing well. I'm uh, feeling a bit under the weather at the moment. I published quite a lot of content recently, and uh, I've got a second load of antibiotics that I'm on. Regardless, MiG-27M, right? That's what we're here to talk about today. This thing is immeasurably fun. However, despite its reputation for being in the wrong part of the tech tree, as see a previous video for that, this thing, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. 11 rank 6, oh, rank 7, sorry. Uh, with a 30 millimeter, and yeah, it gets countermeasures as well. So there's a big cannon underneath that. A bit like an A-10. Mm, precursoring, maybe. You know, maybe one day after they, they get more clustered ammunitions, which is why this thing has pretty interesting ordnance. Now, yeah, sure, it can use the Vickers and the other guided missiles, but this thing gets access to 500 kilogram guided bombs. Yeah. You heard that right. But uh, the ironic thing is, this is a close air support vehicle slash fighter slash interceptor that's been put underneath the jet bomber lane. So, uh, you know, it. hopefully they do a tech tree, uh, say a reshuffle later down the line. But let me take you into a test flight and I'll show you what these cab 500s can do. The only thing really stopping this from being a multi-role aircraft is really the fact that it doesn't have higher tier missiles. So they'll just get R60s, you can mount them in four pylons underneath. But the cab 500s are guided weaponry essentially they're bombs that are guided so there isn't really anything else that they've got an inbuilt secret in the front once you've selected your target you basically lock on by clicking and you see me just clicking there it'll keep as long as you're in level flight it'll keep track of everything uh, and now you can just let go you can fly away do whatever because what happens is the bomb will free fall it'll calculate the target trajectory and it will try to maneuver itself in such a way where it can actually uh, you know, kill a vehicle. And it's going to be particularly interesting to see if this is any, well, really that useful at all. I'm not really a ground forces pilot, and I'm not really a sim pilot either, so the usefulness of this is rather limiting, I think. Yeah, it's nice and all, but at the same token, right, what have you got to, to lose? What have you got, what have you got to gain by having the guided weaponry underneath? There isn't really a need for these in the game, Aside from the fact that there are in the dev files currently on the dev server uh, that have other ordnance for other aircraft types, such as the Phantoms, uh, and I believe there's one other nation, I forget. But there was a Japanese guided bomb spotted in the uh, dev client leaks, so to speak. And there's also a couple of other guided munition type bombs. So will this lead us to clustered ammunition? Probably. But I think it's pretty cool that we have a TV and you have the cockpit TV. I guess that's a really unique selling point. What do you get with this vehicle other than that? Well, it can mount gun pods. And we'll take a look at that in a second. And obviously it can mount R60s. Now it's got a limited amount of flares. And this thing is relatively movable. However, it does snap its wings quite quickly. I didn't have a lot of time to test this thing on the dev server. I also would have tested its airworthy uh, against other aircraft uh, componentry. I say that because, well, as you see, I'm just playing Australian mode right now. Trying to find a locator target is a bit of a pain, especially if you don't know where it is. I'm not used to using thermal cameras or, you know, using guided missiles or any of that kind of hoo-ha, so I'm not really a Ground Forces cast pilot, more of an Air RB player. But as you can see, it guided itself well into that truck, and that truck doesn't neither uh, exist nor want to really be in this world anymore after having just had that uh, hit him on the head. But well, there you go, the screen turns off when you finally have run out of bombs. Really, that's, that's all there is to say about this machine. It's cool in its, it, you know, it's a new fighter. But in the same token, it's the same vehicle as a MiG-23M. You know, it's a, it says fighter, it doesn't say air defense fighter. But, uh, who, who are we kidding? Right, let's strap the gun pods underneath. So, these are the same gun pods that I believe the AK-38 gets. If not, uh, these are 20 millimeters. Uh, so with the combined with the 30 millimeter that's underneath, you get a quite lethal combination. Provided you don't rip your wings or you chase any anyone down onto their airfield. This G91 is obviously going to get his ass headed. Yeah, critical hit on that one. Right, MiG-19 time. Again, these are aircraft you wouldn't necessarily fight because AI. Uh, but yes, as you can see there, absolutely delicious. And we're just going to ignore the fact that there is rolling missiles firing at me. I can't get away from it. Jump straight back into another match. The dev server is set up in such a way where you can go out in realistic battles and fight a bunch of AI, but there are a couple of players uh, down here. Now, 
is this really the best loadout for this machine? Not really. Gun pods are quite limiting. I'd rather use them if I was doing close air sports or you know, killing granny nuts or doing that sort of thing. So far, this machine, in the limited time I've had with it, it is pretty okay. Like, it's mediocre. It's MiG-23 esque, slightly faster, but also, I, don't, I wouldn't say worse, but it's not as bad. But it has more close air sport, I guess, ordnance, which makes the vehicle more potentially useful to those of you who want to grind something to do damage at top tier. Again, the Vicar missiles and, and, and the guided missiles are going to be more useful than the bombs. So, really, this aircraft is a, a rather a, a bit of a novelty in itself. Goodbye, F1. Man, those gun sounds. Yeah, they did do a bunch of changes to the game. Uh, it sounds visually. I was going to do a second dev server news type video, but I have been pumping out content like no tomorrow. Time is very much of the essence. As you can see there, that's basically the machine in a nutshell, really. It's got gun pods, it's got new bombs. Essentially, it's the same as any other Russian interceptor, bomber, uh, fighter. It'd be, it'd be actually nice to see some of the Yak-28s. It'd be actually nice to see some of the other variants of other fighters and, and so on and so forth. But like I said, the tech tree rework in my previous video probably wouldn't happen until we had more of those variants at top tier, which might not even happen in the fucking first place. But hey... It is what it is, Garden Entertainment, and I'll be sure to revisit this aircraft when it comes out on the live server, so stick around because that'll probably happen at some point. So far, this thing's incredibly agile, decent speed, decent energy retention. Um, it doesn't necessarily turn too well, even with the swept wing functionality, which open as you lower your speeds and go and close when you go higher. The variable aspect to it isn't really something that appeals to me. I wasn't really a fan of the MiG-23 outside of my initial video that I did on the machine when it first came out in the last major patch, but I don't know. It's got novelty, and I suppose with gun pods, it's almost like the A7D, except they've learned their lesson. This thing doesn't get an interceptor spawn at all. Uh, so you can't necessarily just bum rush people at, you know, a, a lower battle rating and uh, expect you to do really well. Now, a potato aim, there we go. Finally get the point cycle. It was an AI flying the straight line. Have you missed that one? Who knows? We've got things to work on. Phantom decides to lock on to me. This is a player. Uh, this is an EJ Kai. I won't be doing a video on the Japanese uh, variant, but uh, we will probably do a, a video on the live server. I'm not really a fan of Phantoms. I completely, utterly mess my, uh, I guess, dogfighting abilities up there. It's probably a dogfight when you, you just run away. That's really this machine, though. You don't really, you can't really hang around. It doesn't have the energy to, to really maneuver that well, and it's a bit of a bust in some circumstances. But yeah, that's really about it. Now, don't make the mistake like I do and pull over and try and invert because that's when you do this. Uh, you know, pulling away and pulling into a negative. You know, just trying to you know, catch a target, slowing down a bit, pulling around, just experimenting, and I over G'd my wings. So yeah, that's the MiG-27. Let me know if you're going to pick up this machine and why. Otherwise, catch you in the next video soon. Bye-bye.